Okay, this is my DF Easy Spin Motor. A DF because it's based on dancing flower parts. And uh, I've used the coils, each one's about 500 ohms, so that gives about 2k with those four coils. I've got two magnets on the rotor, and they're also from dancing flowers. And uh, the circuit is lid motors, that's his electronic version. Um, I don't get any flash at all on the LED and I guess because of the resistance of the coils but I'm running now on a 1F supercap. Here are the numbers from the run earlier uh, I started with 0 0.747 volts, it seems to like to run below 1 volt otherwise the uh, magnets seem to act too much with the coils, I might try smaller magnets I don't know. Anyway 11 o'clock 0 0.747 volts all the way down here until 1410 which is about 3 hours later uh, at 0 0.660, somewhere like that, it stopped. I left it for five minutes and then just sort of had a look at see if it recovered any, and it had to 0 0.671. So started it up and it ran for a good quarter of an hour extra. These things are amazing uh, the way that uh, Laser Saber has got the design there. And thanks very much to Lid Motor for the way that he showed the windings, the one to the next. So there we are, that's my version. And just to show really the dancing flower coils in operation. It will also run from a solar panel. I'll show it running from that next. And there we are with it running on the solar panel. That's uh, one from a garden light and it runs very happily indeed. In fact, I, uh, <laughs> I've put a tea towel over the light just to restrict the light a little bit. Um, otherwise I guess I could have moved it further away to demonstrate but uh, there it is running quite happily there on that solar panel. Um, for the 1F Supercap I just uh, use one of those 3 volt button cell type of things, put that between the legs of it for a couple of seconds and off it goes. So uh, well, there we go, that's the DF Easy Spin Motor with a train in the background. <laughs>